Hey, hello guys and welcome in a new video. In this video number 27, I would like to show you how to use an archive and get URLs modules. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel. Do not miss uh, the next video. You can follow this link uh, to see how to use uh, an archive module to see the documentation. Uh, prerequisite of uh, this module, uh, you must have unzip and tar on your target server. The purpose of uh, this module, uh, you can use uh, this module to download and uh, unzip uh, packages in the same task uh, on your uh, target server, for example, if you want to install uh, some uh, binary. Uh, some parameters now, uh, copy parameter, uh, this is a deprecated parameter replaced by a remote SRC, uh, create uh, parameters, um, create, uh, you can use create uh, when you want to check if a file or directory uh, is present on your target server and if uh, this file or directory is uh, present uh, the task uh, won't be run. Decrypt, uh, by default uh, this parameter is set to yes uh, because uh, this is when you want to decrypt uh, an encrypted file uh, with Ansible Vault and uh, Ansible by default uh, decrypt uh, all file uh, encrypted with vault, Ansible vault. Uh, dest for destination, where you want to store uh, the file or the directory. Exclude, uh, when you use an archive, maybe you want uh, to ignore uh, a path uh, in this archive. Extra option, extra options, uh, if you want to add some options uh, with uh, the binary, uh, unzip binary or tar, uh, tar binary, not uh, zip. Group, uh, to set the group of the target file or destination file or directory. Keep newer, newer. Um, in this case, Ansible uh, compare uh, the source and the destination and uh, choose uh, the more recent uh, files uh, or directory between the source and the destination. List of files. Uh, if you want, uh, if you want uh, to to show in your uh, output of the the task uh, the the list of the files uh, when the uh, the list of the the, the files uh, are in the archives, uh, you can use this parameter. Mod uh, for to set uh, to set permissions, uh, numeric uh, permission or uh, alphabetic uh, permissions. Uh, remote SRC uh, replace uh, create uh, parameters. Uh, you can use um, uh, this option uh, to to download uh, the archive on the Ansible server. Uh, this is very very useful. SRC. If you set uh, to know this parameter, this is to copy the file on the target server. If you set to yes, you download and you push uh, the file on the target parameter. Validated certs uh, very important when you use HTTPS if you want to check uh, the cert uh, or no, the certificates or no. By default, uh, this parameter is set to yes. Okay. Um, so now you can uh, we can uh, we can do a short example. So to do it, uh, I use. Go into my playground. I use uh, the same uh, the same script like the previous video. You can check this script in the video number twelve to understand it. Uh, we just simply run a container like a virtual machine with SSH and systemd. I use create create option. I want to have uh, two virtual machines and now or maybe I drop all before yes I run it again and uh, now I 
use uh, minus minus ansible option to create an ansible directory with uh, my uh, inventory file. Okay, I can use uh, Visual Studio Code and in the ansible dir I create a new file, a playbook file named uh, playbook.yml. Uh, I had an header uh, with a name, my first playbook for example, and uh, the parameter of uh, my uh, playbook. I want to run this playbook on all uh, group, on all server. Uh, maybe I use uh, a sudo escalation, I use a become yes, and I want to set some tasks, okay? I save it, and now my first example, so in my case I want to uh, download and uh, an archive, unzip, and untar uh, this file. So uh, first example, if you want, uh, I can, uh, if I have this file on my Ansible server, ans sorry, Ansible server, uh, for example, in my Ansible dir, uh, I can create a make directory and a source like this. And if I use wget, I download the tar gz uh, file in a source, okay, like this. I can use the unarchive module like this. Okay, careful to indentation. And uh, I am now in source and directory and I want to push uh, this archive and enter and unzip uh, this archive in uh, home uh, home OK, home uh, of my uh, user on the target server. So to do it, I go to my Ansible directory, ansible-playbook-i00, my inventory and my playbook. So I run it. And in this case, if I go on ssh 172.17.0.2, and if I go in my home, I show, uh, I see, uh, my uh, directory, okay? And if I check, this is not an archive, but this is uh, a directory with my binary, okay? So we have unzip and untar uh, the file. But in our case, we can do it with only one uh, one task, one action, uh, without the wget of uh, this uh, URL. Uh, to do it, I use an archive like this. And in an archive module, I set uh, the source with uh, the URL. Uh, and uh, the dest is the same, but I use remote src to yes, uh, because in this case, Ansible uh, download the source with the URL. So I save it. In my case, I uh, remove on uh, one of uh, my server uh, the node exporter directory. So I need to do a sudo and I have nothing in my directory. So I run it again. Oh, yes, we use HTTPS, but uh, my uh, container uh, are not uh, um, up to date. So I use validate cert to no. I don't want to uh, check uh, the HTTPS certificate. And I run it again now. It works. Fine. And in this in that case, uh, we only download and install uh, our archive in the first server because in the second server, we have already uh, installed uh, this package uh, and this directory. So, okay, now we can, uh, we can see another module, the get URL uh, module with some parameter. 
the backup parameter to do a backup before uh, the change before uh, uh, the before to install uh, the new directory or the new file the checksum if you want to check the file uh, with the checksum uh, before to uh, install it the dest obviously uh, the destination about uh, our uh, archive force if you want to force the replacement of your uh, source uh, destination, sorry. Uh, for the basic out, uh, to use the basic basic authentication group uh, to set the group of the file headers. If you want to add uh, some headers, because um, get URL is this is like um, this is like w get for example. Uh, HTTP agent by default this is the HTTP agent of uh, Ansible but you can set a HTTP agent for Firefox or Chrome or whatever. Uh, owner you can set the owner of uh, the file or directory mod for to set the permission with a numeric or alphabetic uh, uh, permission. URL of course uh, because uh, we use get URL this is like uh, wget. Uh, this is the source uh, URL. Uh, you can set URL, password, and username uh, when you use uh, the basic auth. And in our case, we want to download uh, this binary. I open it. Sorry. I open it uh, here. Tomcat, uh, yes. Uh, I go in uh, bin. And I want to, maybe, oh yes, uh, for, for this example, uh, what I do, yes, I use uh, Tomcat 9. Uh, I want to download uh, this archive, uh, Apache Tomcat uh, 9, uh, dot uh, tar and uh, gz uh, uh, format. And to do it, we need to go in uh, this directory. Uh, yes. And here, we can go here. And in this directory, we have our archive and we have our uh, SHA uh, uh, 512 here. We can copy it. And um, we have already uh, the, this line. I copy this task and I can paste it here. So what we do, we download uh, the, the archive uh, with this URL and uh, we want to install it into slash opt uh, slash tomcat uh, nine in our case. We set the mod, the permissions, and uh, we want to check before to install uh, this archive. Uh, we want to check uh, our our source uh, with uh, our checksum, like here. We must specify uh, the type of uh, our checksum. In our case, we use validator to know and we want uh, to set the group and the owner of uh, the uh, target uh, file. So I save it, I run it again. And if I check uh, my opt uh, directory on my target server, if I do lsla in slash opt, I can find tomcat9 with my okay user okay group. And if I check, is my binary okay um, that's all for today if you want you can uh, uh, follow the link in the video description to find uh, these uh, slides um, and uh, don't miss the next video you can like or comment uh, this video uh, you can subscribe to my channel and i say you goodbye